So, Hihachi. I think for now you can go and everyone else. See what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put top I'm gonna put the top 20 in order. And I'm gonna put the bottom 10 in order. In in my belief, okay? In my opinion. And I think everyone else, I'm just not gonna order. Unless we can make a good argument. I think Kazia is in top 20 somewhere. Like when we get more characters on, we can start ordering them. So let's put them in like rough placements for now, I think. So I think Kazi is in top 20, he has the damage, mix-ups, punishment, you know, you can't go wrong with him really. Jin, I think is top 10 for sure. For now anyway, he could be 5, but for 10, 10 I think everyone agrees on 10 with Jin. I think there's any doubt with this character, I mean he has the combable, unseeable low, he has got neutral with forward 4, he has very good punishment, 2 4 10 frame, while well, standing 2 14 frame launcher. Especially a Jin that can delay his forward 4 is to like basically shut down anything you do at neutral essentially. Yeah, so let, let's say he's in top 10 for now. Oh, Akuma, best character in the game. Like, I, like for me, he's the best character. Like, as long as he can combo off his stick job, as long as he can do Dem 1 2 on counter hit. As long as you can do Den 3 into Fireball, as long as you can jump over your moveset, he's always going to be the best character in the game for me. So, I, like, Fakuman is second to me, but Akuma, Fakuman can't do the things Akuma can do, which is killing you off a top. So, yeah, I think Akuma's easy top one, in my opinion. Lars, let's put him in bomb time for now. Like, his pokes don't hurt that much in this game and he doesn't have a good counter at launcher I, he's just kind of like outclassed a lot by a lot of characters like his damn back 4 is so risky for the damage it does his tracking's kind of shit like he's, he's pretty weak to right and he, he has to commit to back 1 which is he loses his turn on block so he, he's kind of whack to be honest like in Taito he was good but he lost a bit. He lost the poke damage, and he lost his combo ability with his type with the. Oh, well, he didn't lose it, but it's like less valuable in this game because everyone does stupid damage now. So I think Lars dropped off a lot in season in this game compared to type two. Alisa, I think she'd be like five or six. So let's put her in front of Chin for now. Because this character, I wouldn't say approach for free, but running two is like really obnoxious. Uh, you know, she has den three, it's like borderline seeable. It's gonna be a long day, yeah, there's not too many characters. But my last tier list stream was like three hours, I'm in for the long run, like. Yeah, Alisa, her, why is Paracrush minus 13? Why does it. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a bug. It it armors at 6 frame instead of 8 frame. I'm pretty sure that wasn't intended, because that is literally the only power crush that I know that does this. And I see Alisa players say, oh, you can backdash away from destroy form and stuff like that. But if she does FC Demford 1 plus 2, which is minus 11 in itself, which it shouldn't be minus 11, but it is. It does, a, it does chunks on hit, it's really plus, but also that it leaves you in crouch. So if Alisa is on player one side, and she does Shu Shang into destroy form on hit, you cannot interrupt or step or duck destroy form one, which is the, the mid chainsaw that goes into the animation. It does like 40, 50 damage or something. So you can't even step this. So once you eat Shu Shang on hit, and you're on player two side, you're like, in an immediate 50-50 situation, I think. Because I don't you can't back dodge destroy form down one. And you can't interrupt, step, or duck the destroy form one mid. So it's a really chunky chunky mix-up after this already dumb mid. Uh, uh, the, uh, off this already dumb low in the first place. So yeah, Alisa is like kinda cheap. So she she's gonna be in here. Horang? No, then go we'll see. We'll see. Like Jason, bro. I'm honest, right? I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna be honest. I need content for my YouTube, 
I don't honestly don't give a shit about tears in this game. I just need content for my YouTube. So you can listen to my opinion, okay? <laughs> if you hate me for my opinion, I don't care. Watch my video on YouTube and then hate my opinion afterwards. So I think Horan? Let's put him in 20 for now. I think the character does so much damage. He has a lot of canned situations in his flamingo pressure. Like I'll, I'll put him like maybe bottom of top 20. We'll put more character stuff and then we can change around a bit. But I'm gonna leave him here for now. But like Den 3-4 is super impressive. He has an immediate 50-50 after Den 3-4. Yeah, his throw game is super good. His throw oki okay is super good. Like he is his punishment's kinda of bad. His approach is kinda of bad. But I think his offense is so good. But maybe we can bump him then as we move on, maybe. Double chin, I don't even know. Like he's gonna be at the top of top twenty, like in the eleven twelve range. Or he's gonna be in top ten. Let's put him top ten for now. Like, see, Devil Chin is is my least favorite mission mode to play against, and it's nothing to do with strengths. I just fucking hate eating the hell sweep, watching a combo, tech rolling, eating another hell sweep, and spend another half a minute watching a combo into wall co into wall carry blah blah blah. It's just so fucking boring. Is literally the most boring thing in the game. I hate it. Like I, I could fall asleep just watching Delgin help sweep me to death. Like at least Kazia kills you quicker. Delgin is just a slow burn until he kills you. It's so annoying. But I don't know who's better, Kazia or Delgin, because Kazia's demo for hitting grand is, is actually like a big deal. But I think Delgin just has better pokes. Especially Laser Scraper. Laser Scraper is pretty stupid. Well, it's not really stupid, but it's like better than mids than Wakasia has, I think. Wakasia just hits so hard. Yeah, Wakasia is a, uh, like, you know, I, I could go on a whole tirade about Tekken 7 mission list. I really could. I hated them since Tag 2. But they're like tolerable in tag too, but I don't like them in this game at all. The flip over mechanic, the vortex and it's green, the vortex at the wall, uh, the electric whiff recovery now, like why, why buff that? Thank God homing sweep, homing hell sweep is gone. That was a really dark age. Yeah, like honestly, Going from Tag 2 to Tekken 7, I hate the flip over mechanic the most. I think that was the worst thing to put into Tekken 7. Not the rage drives, not rage arts. It's the fucking flip over. I, I hate it so much. Right, Dragon off. I'm gonna put in the top 20 as well. Yeah, uh, when you hit them on the ground, Dan, when certain moves, when you hit them on the ground, it flips them over. So the tech roll, if you dash in, you usually have a lot of advantage. So you get like Vortex situation, and it's, it's especially bad with Mishimas because they have a mid that they use in the Hell Sweep Wave Dash mix-up, but it it scoops you off the ground, and if you don't get up immediately, they can scoop you up again if they do it again. So you're forced to get up, and then you're forced to eat this Wave Dash mix-up that's coming at you. So it's, it's just a really toxic uh, meta. So they're pretty coin flippy. It's really annoying. No CH launchers. I mean, he still has super oppressive pressure running too. Although, I know female characters, because I know Asuka can actually size that right a lot of things from Dragon Off, including Dam 4 4. I think she can step down 4 4. I, I, I have this written down somewhere, but I know the female characters, especially Asuka, can escape more things from Dragon Off. A plus six. Paul is top five. No, Paul is number four to me. Paul would be number four to me. Why am I dying off of Denver 2? 60%, at least 60% off Denver 2. Like, 
Why? Why why did I die for chopping? Why does he have this? Why does he have Rage Heart Council? Why is the only one to have it? Why why does it exist in the first place? He has the best number two in the game. And he, I think he has one of the best rage drives in the game. Because okay, it's not a launcher. We have to consider it in context with the rest of his moveset. So okay. Paul does his wall ender. So you tech roll after the wall ender, right? Now you're at the wall. Now you have to choose. Do you want to die and be splashed against the rage drive against the wall, right? The thing is like you think, okay, they're just gonna do mid rage drive because if if they if I block it, he's gonna be like super plus anyway, because I bounced off the wall. But then they start doing demo man. But you don't wanna duck. Because it's really stupid if you duck into Rage Drive, because that's going to kill you. But you can't just land down on you. And I that, I think that situation is one of the most stupid situations game. His Rage Drive should be like Kasumi's. It should be minus up on wall bends. So he doesn't get mixed up still after the after the bends. Like he shouldn't get, he should, he should not get mixed up still. It should be minus like Kasumi's. And his damage is way too much. I know he's meant to do damage, but 60% of damper 2 is a bit much. And that's with that wall, I think. And yes, 4, four comp plus 4. It's only mass 14. But it's so evasive. Like, it's actually crazy. Like, I could be... I remember testing a situation with Asuka. I am, I'm plus 8, right? Back, back 4, plus 8. I do damper 1. He can still evade it. He can still evade my dumper one at plus eight with this move. And he gets like 40% off if he does raise drive or death fist afterwards. Like it, it it doesn't make sense. Why does Paul have this? Like he's not even supposed to be like that. He's not even supposed to be this super defensive evasive character. Uh, I don't know. He's number four, okay? I don't he's number four. He's there. Law. I'm gonna put him like Six, I think. No, no, seven. But I have one more character. I know one more character I'm going to put here. I might bump double chin then, but we'll we'll keep going, right? We'll keep going and then we'll change around a little bit. But yeah, fuck Akuma and fuck Bob. I think Bob is actually really good. Like, chat, tell me, what's bad about Bob? Bob is really good, folks. He does a really good job. His track, His tracking is really good. Oh shit, I'm dropping the frames. One second, let me lower down the quality. I knew this would happen then. This is why I'm getting my wire on Wednesday. Sick of this shit. Oh, please just pass. Please just pass. Uh. Can we fix it? Probably not. Am, am I like gone? This is just impossible to watch. Okay, I think it's stable now. I think it's stable now. Yes, I read that stream is fucking up. Yeah, I think, uh, like Bob. He has really good pokes. He has really good tracking. He has really good pokes to go either direction, right? So he could do like his Demfort one is one way, his Demfort two is the other way. No, stop pointing at Ash. No, it's a uh, Logitech, some Logitech camera. I I I, I don't know. Some bot for me. I don't know technology. It's some Logitech one anyway. But yeah, Bob. His damage is alright. He has the, his health sweeps tracks all the way left, I think. You're left. But his 4 for 2 tracks the other direction, so it's not easy to step either, you know? It's not it's not simple to step in that range. And it's not simple to step him up close. Like back two has tracking one way, dump for two is tracking the other way, dump for one tracks one way completely. Like there's no easy way to step him. He's really sticky. He's a really sticky character. This house sweep 
But isn't it like if you go right against them, the first hit whips or something? Isn't that a thing? Oh my god, why is my internet shitting now? I swear to god, it's, ever since my house came back, the sinking's been fucked up with the home plugs. But yeah, Bob, let's just leave him here for now. I think Bob is super good. We gotta block the second one. Yeah, but if you say you, you you make the low whiff and then you block the second hit. But um his four for two tracks that way, so that's the problem. That's the problem. Jeez, a ball preset. That's all you want, Eddie, isn't it? Alright, Brian. Brian's weird because How much did I know back one went to plus five on block? No, what was it? Something something was upgraded by plus one in the season. Was it Corsair Back 3 on hit or was it back one on block? I can't remember which one. It was the hatchet, wasn't it? Yeah. It went to plus five. And did his situation change? Because I know you can step down for two, you can step down for one if you go left. But I don't know if that was changed with plus five. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know if that was I don't know if that changed his situation. Because he, he was pretty prone to going being the step to the left. But I don't know if it's different with the plus five. He's kinda linear, isn't he? Yeah, that's the problem. But no nah, no, nah, let, let's ignore execution as a factor, eh? Let's just assume the brain can do taunt shit. Let's assume the brain can do ton shit, right? Because imagine blocking and getting launched for it, right? That's pretty fucked up. So I think Brian's somewhere in top 20. Let, let's, we'll go in more detail. Let's just put characters in rough placements and then we can talk more. Uh, I think Steve is just also in top 20 somewhere. Hey. Okay, we can put more, four more characters here. I, I don't know about top 10. Like, I, I, I have a few ideas for top 10. I think Nina is just in everyone else. I think Nina is just everyone else. In everyone else. Lily. Lily, I think, is in everyone else. I don't think she is, as people say. I think she's underrated, for sure. I mean, she's still not, she's not amazing. Like, she's probably, like, mid-tier, a little bit below mid-tier. But... Let's let's get more characters in. I think Asuka is in top twenty, but it's kind of weird because she's so polar. I know I know a lot of people don't like the character, and that's fine. I get it, but let's be a bit unbiased. Like Asuka has amazing counter tools, like some of the best in the game, but her offense, especially at higher levels, is pretty shit. Like, she doesn't have a traditional jab game. She doesn't have something natural off a jab and her down front one, which is huge, a higher level. Because a higher level, the mistakes are smaller and her punishment for smaller mistakes are pretty low. So her jab, turn frame jab, or nothing natural off down front one or jab. So if you sidestep a jab, like you do down front one on, on block, you sidestep, you know, someone like Kasumi would do 1 1 2 to whip punish, but Asuka doesn't have something fast to whip punish people with from like a sidestep. So that's actually like a big thing. That's actually like a big, big, big thing. But at the same time, she's really safe. She's a really strong wall game. Like one of the better wall games of the cast, I think. Because sidestep 2 is a face of mid splat. She is a dem 1 plus 2 vortex. She has. Then back three plus four on their face. She has then back one two hit confirm wall spot. So she's she's good wall game. She's good counter it tools, really good counter it tools. I just think her pressure is pretty bad. She's really polarized. Yo um some maniacs. So I am gonna leave like Oscar in here somewhere. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna leave Oscar in there somewhere. I, I do think she's really strong, but like I don't wanna, cause I know I main the character, and I up, I praise the character a lot 
in season one and two. Like when people said she was shit, I said she was strong. And I believe that still back in season one. And in tag two as well, people said she was bad. I also thought she was good. But in season three, she's definitely falling behind. Like she's definitely she definitely got power crap to book. Steven top 20 because I think uh, let, let's continue a bit but I, I do have my reasons I think or I probably forgot them but let, let's let's just move on a bit anyway so I think Shay is just in everyone else I think but I'm kind of conflicted because like I know people say uh, you know oh you have you just know your anti AOP moves but even if you do and your anti AOP move is slow. Shayu has fast counter tools. She has while well, standing two. She has magic four. So, like I, like you, I know when I play against European Shayus, they like to AOP after everything. And you know it gets a bit predictable. And you know I just do my big mega move that hits them out of AOP. But then I went to Pakistan. And I played one of their Shayus in tournaments. And this guy didn't AOP, AOP me. He just magic forwards my slow anti AOP moves. And it's like he actually put thought behind his offense and when to use AOP and when not to use AOP. And I thought that was actually like really, really, like really strong. Yeah, exactly. It's too slow to use consistently. Like, certain moves that you can't just keep doing against AOP. Because, well, if she doesn't do AOP, well, if she just blocks or just does something fast and just kills you first. So, um, she would be like the top of everyone else for me, I think. Thanks for following, Ibatu. Thank you. Leo? Man, there's like 50 characters in top 20, you know? I might call this top 30. <laughs> uh, I think Leia will be in... Like, Leia was good. But her mid-screen damage is shit. That's the problem. Or it's not shit, but it's definitely below average. So if there's no walls, Leo kind of suffers a lot. But her wall game is really good. Like, her... she bef People talk about Leroy's homing house sweep. Leo, Leo had that first, and Leo's health sweep high crushes as well. Like when people when people complain about Leroy's sweep, think about who had it first. Think about who had it since Tekken Six, and that was Leo. And it also high crushes. And you know, it, it, you don't need to be a clean hit range for it. So it trips at like tip range. And she has the kind of wall blender as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, no walls it is a big thing for Leo. Let, let's just leave her here for now. Let's just leave her here for now. Feng. Like, I'm gonna be honest here. I think of of the Tekken roster, I hate Feng the most of any character in this game, apart from 2Ds. And maybe Fakuman. But I think I hate Feng almost more than Akuma. <laughs> Yo, backseat. Did you just recess? Did, did you just subscribe to me like a week ago? Yeah, no, it definitely hasn't been in a month. But with Feng, like he can kind of shut down a lot of your fence with Kempo. Now I'm not talking about Kempo into just do something on a commitment. I'm talking about Kempo back three plus four, and then actually confirm a whiff and then do a hop kick. I'm not talking about like actually just committing anyway. Like I'm talking about things that can actually campo out of your pressure. See that you miss something and then do the hop kick. And the reward for stopping that is so little. I think the reward for that is stopping so little. It is so little. And he has good Oki. He is really strong Oki. Like the four, the four three four, the four three flip ender with the force block. And then when you block that, you're in a situation, and he's really good lows. Uh, gonna, I'm just gonna put him like here somewhere. Yoshi, I, I think Yoshi is shit to be honest. 
I think the only thing he has going for him is the sword sweep tech traps. But his damage is not good. His basics, his basics are pretty bad. Uh, he's pretty weak to your left. Mm, I don't know. I just like like he he has to do Oki to get the same damage that most characters can share in their staples anyway. Apart from well, signing one three launcher or whatever, that's pretty beefy. But his combo damage otherwise is is pretty bad, and he has he has to rely on setups to get that same damage that most characters get anyway. So I don't think he's I don't think Yoshi's good. I don't know how Kim wins with this character, but I don't think Yoshi's really good at all. The King, yeah, I even said I mean, I mean, Giga's one determined what last week or two weeks ago. So it's, it's not like a reflection on the character, it's a reflection on the player. But even if Yoshi does well, he's still relatively shit. I think. He's still relatively, relatively shit. How many do I have here? Okay, so we, can, we, we have three more slots here for the top 20. Yeah, I think King's top 20 for sure. But how top 20? But how top 20? Let's just shuffle this random little ball. Let's say Delgin up here, Kazi up here. And Steve at the top here. Yeah, I saw. I didn't even know Rox dropped any musician. I didn't even know they dropped him. I was surprised to see the Equinox pick up. Yeah, let's let's say King somewhere in here. Like, I think chain grabs are fucked up. Like, there is no reward for you breaking it, and it's like almost a game for him if he guesses right. We'll, we'll, we'll shuffle around a bit more, we'll shuffle around a bit more. Let, let, let's say King's right here somewhere. Let, maybe here. We'll, sh we'll, shuff we'll shuffle at the end, okay? Let's just get rough placements, man. We'll shuffle at the end. Yeah, I mean, there's so much guessing to the chain grabs, and then, like, Dengo, you would know more than me, because you got your Federer as your training partner, one of the best kings ever. 441 is just, like, anti neutral. Yeah, I think 441 is, like, the most positive with him. Like, it is actually just anti neutral, and it's only Man Spive or something on block. So he can still do stuff on block. So he can still do stuff. Yeah, let's just leave him here for now. So Jack is probably just an everyone knows. I think he got power crept on hard in this game. Like I think he's in a game where poking is kind of less valuable. Like in a season where poking is a bit less valuable. So I think he kind of fell off of a yo poke for me. Three two months. That's almost three years. I need I need to get three year badge. Thank you, Pokemon. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Yeah, let's just put Chakra in here somewhere. Yeah, I, I think Chakra got power crept on so hard in this season. Like before, he was decent. When he had the... In season 1, we had the 4 4 one uh, Tracking both ways. But he lost that. And... I don't know. More characters just got more bullshit things in general. Katarina... I'm trying to... Lana, top bomb 10 15. I think maybe Lily would be in the top of bomb 10, maybe. Yeah, FC Den back one pushes back a lot and hit. That's, that's another problem. I, I, I think Katarina is bomb 10 for sure. But she can still win, of course. Like, I don't know how many people in the chat know, but. Season one and two, I my second deck was Katarina. It was so caliber tierless, but basin. Wow, token yeah. Is Lily that bad? I don't know. We'll, we'll reshuffle around a bit when I get everyone up. But for now, maybe. Well, like with Ka 
But Katarina, she was really good in season one. She was, in my opinion, and she was top ten in season one and two because her pokes were just too strong, and her damage was insane. Yo, Connor, yeah, we're on, we're on Katarina now. But I think the nerf to her magic four, the nerf to her Dunford one, are pretty bad. It doesn't chill anymore, and is minus three. But you do have the follow ups. No, it's not minus and hit. That was a typo. It's still plus five or whatever. I, I can't remember how plus and hit. But that was a typo. It's, it's not minus and hit, man. Shouldn't Steve. We'll, we'll, we'll talk with Steve more as we go up. Yeah. No, I, I get Lily's problems. I just think, like, certain Lily players put the loss in the character when it's not really the character's problem. No, this is like character strengths. This is a character fiability. Well, what Lily for now? Kasumi is in top 20 for sure. I would say maybe even top 5. Like her, even, even though she got nerfed, her pokes are still some of the best in the game. Her Dempot one moves her forward and has a natural follow up. Her jobs are like still some of the best. Like she's still. Her core game is still really good. Like that didn't change. Like Arslan showed it in season two when Kazumi got touched quite a bit in season two. But her core game is still almost identical. Yeah, like she has forward movement on her pokes, that's the thing. Yeah, no, the back two nerf was big, but to be fair, that was really stupid. Like her damage mid screen is bad, but it's decent with wall. You do need to carry properly to the wall for the fly three then to ender. But she's still fundamentally really solid. So I'm, I'm gonna leave you here for now. I'm gonna leave you here for now. I say gig is bomb five. That's without a question, really. I say that's without a question, really. But, like I said, it's the stream. I believe that some characters should be bad. Like, some characters should not be good. I believe, I really believe this in fighting games. And Gigas is a big sample. Imagine Gigas is up here. Can you imagine how obnoxious he would be? Like, you cannot step him. So, you, you can't step against this character. So, imagine... Imagine Gigas is like a top tier Gigas. People say, oh yeah, buff Gigas, buff Gigas. Think about what you're asking for, you know. Be careful what you wish for. Like, what, what would they give him? Better counter at launcher? Do you imagine him with like an Oscar back four with the range? Now, be careful what you wish for, like. But honestly, he's not even going to be in the next game, so who cares about him? So who, like, who gives a shit? He's not going to be next Tekken game, so... My advice to Gigas players would be just to drop him now. Like, why bother? So, Claudio... I, th I think at top 20... His, his wall game is actually ridiculous. Okay, we have a full top 20 now. In this part. So we need to... May need to bump... Let me, let me look ahead. Okay. We need to change around a few things for sure. But yeah, Claudio's wall game is really stupid. Side step four and back one at the wall. His 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 resplat damage that is consistent of his good splats as well. Like back one's wall splat, then for three one or whatever. Or I think it's then for three one. The mid mid splat is super confrontable, and it does like. 80 damage or something. So yeah, and his neutral is good. Running two is fast, and it kind of just makes you really consider doing like slower stuff at neutral. So yeah, I think Claudio is definitely top 20 somewhere, and he is good damage as well. Shaheen. 
Yeah, the back one is, is a bit of um, evasive properties as well, like a bit of backswing to it. So, shite. Now, see, we're out of top 20. Right, let, let me throw Steven here from now. And let's put Shaheen somewhere here. But we're gonna need to bump one of these guys then when I'm getting when I'm getting closer. Uh, I think Josie is like I would think Josie is that good to be honest. Because F Am I here? Hello? Did I die? Okay, I'm 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 here, right? Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. My stream button cut on my end. Okay, anyway. Yeah, I don't think Josie is that good. Because she makes it block them for four. Okay. But what is scary? The most you are going to eat is crash is the dash three, right? The low but even the situation after crash dash 3 is not that good i mean it, no it, it's okay but she can still die just as much as you so lot, lot, not not a lot of people notice i think when she does crash dash 3 i think it's plus four on hit right if you have a good 10 frame or a good 11 frame like a magic four like a female magic four or something if she does Dumford 1, you can interrupt her quite easily. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm about to say. So if she has Dumford 1, there's a lamp frame gap in there. So you can, if you have a good uh, 10 frame string, you can do this, right? Also, if she does jabs, you can sidestep right on this. If she does standing 3, you can sidestep right on this. If she does Dumford 4, you can sidestep right this as well. So it's actually very hard for Josie to keep you sitting still with that kind of commitment. If she does the homie move, you can mash interrupt her out of it. If you if she does Dumford one like I said, you can mash her out of it. Dumford one tracks size that right. Oh is it 60 frame? Okay sorry, well 12 frame captain. So but my point is you can still mash her out of it. And that move tracks size that right. Uh, what else? Yeah I, th I think she's actually just prone to mash like obviously she has stuff to beat both options, like say them for two and stuff like that. But like all I'm saying is like, don't respect Josie so much. Like switch stance respect, of course. But I think switch stance is kind of like not in her favor, because she conditions you with the high, which you can duck, all to just make you sit still and eat Krishna Street, which is like whatever you know. So I, I don't think she's that good. She's annoying. She's really, really annoying. Especially online, where you, you, it's uh, it's hard to react to interrupt your stuff. But I don't think she's good on paper, you know. And especially, even if you eat Switch 3, it's minus on hit. So it's not even, yeah, exactly. It's not, it's not even that scary. And the most you're going to eat is... Crash Dash 3, which is like, whatever. So let, let's leave her in here somewhere. Right, Raven. Like, she has kind of shitty hitboxes. I think that's her main issue. But she has very good wall carry and very good wall damage. And she has really silly stuff like also again I know I keep saying it but not a lot of people know this but her back turn power crush can actually be comboed off it's tricky it's a little bit situational but you can actually combo off her back turn power crush which is kind of really stupid and her track is really good her 4-1 got no no not 4-1 just the standing 4 on its own because before, I think it pushes back more on counter or something. So before you could do magic four and then dump back two one or whatever. 
But now she if she wants to combo off it, she needs to commit to the four one. That's that's the nerf. But she has really good mobility with the snake dash. She has really really strong counter at launcher with while standing two. She has really good tracking. Thanks um for the follow, thank you, I appreciate that. She has really good tracking up close. I think her back turn mix up is good. Like if she makes if she hits you with the Mac 2 or she hits you with 4-1 as a punish. Uh I think she's a really good situation on the hit. Like she has a move that hits you side walking left. She has a beefy low string. And yeah, I think her QCF 1-2 is really good as well. Counter at launch on the first and the second hit. But I don't know, compared to the characters I have, I have here already. Yeah. Like, like if Raven touches you and there's a wall nearby, you're going to lose a lot of life. Like, she did season 3 damage in season 1. And I think her damage is still above average anyway. Like, her wall combo shouldn't even work. Like, she gets a double race block. And I don't think that's, like, Larry possible otherwise yeah maybe let's put Horang down let's put Raven here maybe like her wall combo Larry should not work oh my god is this immortal the Raven signal what, what do you think bottom up top 20 what do you think I think it's a fair enough placement. Or maybe top 5, maybe top 1. Top 20 and uh, yeah, right. Chloe, Chloe, uh, bomb fight for sure. Little range, really risky. Her job game is good, I'll give her that. Her job game is really really good. Like she is one of the best job strings in the game I think, 1-2. Because the second hit is a mid, and it tracks as well, so it's actually really hard to step Chloe with 1-2. But I think, um, oh my god, you can't even see the chat on my screen, on my screen. Definitely white. I'm blind, I can't even see my own chat. Oh wow. Uh, here, someone talk. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah. Chloe kind of sucks, I think. Like her lows are not that good. Her lows are actually pretty risky. They're either really risky or they're minus. And even the minus ones are risky as well. Like down four, down three. I, I think XD down front one is her best low, but it's minus 40, which is like really bad against some characters. Yeah, I think Chloe's here for. I think that's a fair placement for Chloe. That 3 4 isn't launchable. Yeah, but it's like. Matt or something in general, isn't it? Change some phone food. I think Eddie's bomb five as well. I think Eddie's bomb five as well. Like. This relax mix up is. It's kind of meh in this game. I think Eddie is just super power crypt. Eliza, we'll, we'll, let's let's talk. I think we're gonna need to talk about her a little bit. I think I need to change people's minds on this character. I, I want to make a video on Eliza, and I'm I know Kira Kira is waiting for me to sit, talk about Eliza as well. I put Raven here. No. Thank you. 
I think Eliza's top one thing. I think Eliza's top one. Why? Because she has a lot of dumb shit that I don't think people are aware that the character has. Like even some of the Pakistani players are putting Eliza in top 10. No, I wouldn't say it that far, but she is insanely overlooked. And I think Eliza players just like brainwash people to believe she's bad. But she is so, so far from it. It's actually unreal. Like people say, oh, her Dan 3 is a Madison hit, but she has cancels off this. She has the best mutables of the 2D characters. She, uh, her magic 4 nullifies a lot of your stuff up close. Her back 2 is a 11 frame counter hit string that's safe. Uh, de very delayed as well. But it's just that she hasn't. Uh, I think her lows obviously could be a bit better. But her damn force counter hit launcher. And you have to think about it, right? She has her damn one. Like, she's really fast me to build, okay? And stuff like damn one e into EX Fireball. So if this thing can to hit you, you're in a mix up on block. Yeah, yeah, like she's the weakest 2D for sure, but I mean you're comparing her to Akum, who's the best character in the game, and Geese, who is probably a top 10 character. So of course, she is the worst 2D character, but that's not to say she's a bad character too. Like she is the worst 2D, but that's not like such a low standard. Like stuff like Dan 3 into Heavy Dive Kick, E3 Backdash. You know, it's safe, it's made safe. If you space out Den 3 into Fireball, you can't even punch it. And it's chip damage, it's meter build, uh, it's mental frame advantage. Uh, Den 1 into EX Fireball is ridiculous, because even if, if that didn't hit you on counter hit, you were taking an immediate 50 50. And the Moon Glide 4, now her wall game is like one of the best. Her wall game is one of the best in the game with Tiger Neat Dive Kick, with Instant Dive Kick and the Dan 3x Slash, which is not risky. I don't know why people say it's risky. It's only man's 13. That is like 40 damage or something like across the board. It is not that risky in the slightest. And her Oki is super good. Her wall game is one of the best. Her counter tools are good. Magic 4. Back two, three, uh, damn one, dick chop. Like, don't believe most Eliza players. She's fine. Like, I, I played this character in Second World Tour events. I played her in two off the top of my head, and I did well with her in, in two sets. And the other guys knew how to fight her against her, against her as well. Yeah, it's the dick jab counter is super good. And she has uh, stuff like jab jab, which confirms into the X slash of the wall or uh, DP2 mid screen for like really strong Oki afterwards. She's a safe counter at launcher while standing two. She, uh, her death with one is natural follow ups. Uh, her jab recovers faster than normal. Her magic force is ridiculous and it can lead to a lot of damage if she does the fireball cancels with into saying will carry. Like just like we know what's gonna happen. Pakistanis are gonna travel. The Eliza users in Pakistani are gonna win tournaments with her. People are gonna be like, oh wait, Eliza was good. And then suddenly everyone's saying, Yeah, yeah, we well, knew all along, even though these same people were like, no, she's bottom five she's the worst character in the game blah 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 it's gonna be the same shit over and over again the same with kuma same with kasumi in season two it's gonna be the same story so i think people will see how good lies is when the pakistani start traveling yeah it's not even a counter at launcher it's a, it's a launcher on normal hit as well if you have the ecstatic and her back her, her side step is really good her side step is like way above average and her backdash is bad, but she has jump back. And you can jump back 
with confirm something on with and then launch them with EX style kick. I don't think she's bombed in, se in bomb time in season 2 either. Like the character is just fundamentally good. Like she has good counter tools, that's true. The Moonglide 4 helped her a bit, but it's not the reason why I think she's good now. 4 4 3 4 was a huge move, sure. It was. Like that that's fair. That was a nerf. But she can do 4 4 3 3. And she can still get a combo off this. If they if they duck into it or if they get hit by the 4 4 3. Eat. Watch Pakistan. Watch their Eliza's. Watch Ryuk Leonidas. Watch his Eliza. Arslan is playing Eliza. Watch Ark Eliza. He got second place in one of the biggest Pakistani tournaments. Uh, Ryuk beats people like Awais Honey At and Atif is beating everyone there with Eliza. Like, they're all using Eliza over there and they're all saying, yeah, this character's dumb. So just watch the Pakistanis play Eliza. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, Miguel, I think is bomb time. Like he's really poke heavy for someone that it, it feels like Miguel's in like the wrong game. You told me she was good before then. Yeah, like I I, I always thought she was early season one. I always thought she was good. I always thought, I always thought Liza was good, ever since the early season. That's why I used her in Milan, if you remember in Takamoto season 1. And Miguel, I think some bomb town, but like the top of bomb town I think. So, like he's so poke heavy for someone that can... Like he has a lot of gaps in his pressure. Like Savage Stemback 3 is only like plus has plus is a plus three on it. Chanel's been playing. Yeah, but that's one guy's opinion. And like we, we all know Akuma is like at least top two. Even though there aren't many players using him. And like Chanel is one person. There's a lot of Pakistani saying Eliza's good. Is a plus four, okay. So I don't know, I just don't think he's that special to be honest. Lee Lee is kinda controversial to me. Lee is kinda controversial to me. Because Den 3 is really, really, really good. Like, I don't think he's top... I know Arslan says he's top 5. Like, I don't think he's top 5. I don't... Maybe, maybe not top 10. Actually, Danny, honestly, what do you think, Danny? Like, back 4 is pretty much free now with the buff. He's upper top 20. Yeah, I was going to say top 20 as well. But Liza has good tech and stuff, that's the, that's the thing. She has a really good job, she's really good dump with one. She has a homie magic four. She has back two, three. She has like a cancel meta game. Like, you don't have to down three on hit. And then her counter hit launcher off down three is only magic eleven. Yo, Josh. Thank you so much, Josh. Thank you, Liza. Thanks, Josh. I appreciate it. No, no leaks here, no, no leaks here. But her Eliza counter at mid launcher is like barely bad on block. Yeah, thanks Josh, take care man, take care. And like, she wants you to press into stuff like that. Jin's, yeah, that's why Jin is here. That's why Jin is here. This is going on YouTube, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing this, like, just for YouTube content. And she has EXDP, 
So you have to respect Eliza a lot more in certain situations because of the XTP. Like it is risky, it is a lot of functional block, but she has the option still. So if we're gonna put Lee in top 20, we're gonna need, we're gonna need to bump someone down. Eliza's bad on infinite, yeah. Like actually doesn't have a really strong side step. And like a uh, jump back to mix up with especially lows and then it has a thick jab into something that is a mix up on block or a counter at launcher like geese has that but he's a 2d character as well and it, like Kuma, Geese and Eliza have it. Yeah, they all do. But Akuma is the best character. Geese is probably top 10. But Eliza still has this, which is better than a lot of attacking stuff. She has, she literally has a dick jab counter at launcher. Does a mix up and block. And she, I think she might have the fastest meter build of the three characters. Yeah, that's fine, man. That's fine, but. Like, she's a very good blend. Like, people just see her as a 2D character, but she has good tech and stuff. Yeah, I think maybe Bob. See, I don't, I don't want to move Bob then, just because he has crazy pokes. Thanks for follow, um... Torhe, thank you. No, then... Is, I, this is what I believe, okay? You have your belief, I have none. Yeah, I don't know. Like, Bob's pokes is actually like, and his tracking and his pokes are really good, so I don't put. That's, that's the stuff that matters in like higher, higher level. Like, how good your tracking is, how good your pokes track, and how good. how much damage your pokes do. And Bob does all that a lot. Bob does, does all English. Bob does all that really well. Well, I have her in top 20. I think that's higher than what a lot of people place her. Like, I see Americans put Asuka like near bomb 10. I'm actually like giving her more credit than people think. But she has, Asuka has her obvious weaknesses like jab game and her lows are not like amazing. It's just because Asuka doesn't have much representation in like top TWT. Kazi over double chin. I did, but I forgot what it was. I think Kazi just shits out more damage in general. And his Oki is better than double chins. And his race drive kind of gives him. Um, like, it removes her counterplay for the wave dash pressure with the race drive. But lies over Shaheen. Here, and we're, we're going to have so many comments hunting me down just for not having her in the bottom five. But I, I think she's okay here. I, I don't get the hype over Shaheen. I, I honestly, like people say, oh, Shaheen's good, Shaheen's good, but why? Like, I mean, the game's balanced enough that you could argue one end from the other one. Does Shaheen have good tracking? I actually do not know much about Shaheen. Let's put Bob and everyone else one man. So we have a gap here. And we could put Lee in here. Like maybe this here. Maybe here. 
But Marduk is definitely top 20, so I'm, I'm, I'm bumping some down from Marduk. Because I think Lee's Dan 3 is one of the best things about him. It high crushes, it's fast, it's a counter at launcher. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make a separate video on Arise. I think his character is crazy slept on me. Not slept on. But I'll explain lies in it in a separate video. It's also the same. He has a 4 for 4 as well, which is a natural hit launcher. It had crushes and it goes under some mids too. So that's something you have to really look out for. And I think it tracks as well if you like delay the 4 forward. Bears are easy bomb by I don't I don't think there's any question. I think they actually might be worse than Gigas. As in they're the worst character in the game. Because they don't really have they don't have any counter tools. They don't have like a scary low. They the hunting stance is like nothing. Like in tag two it was scary because the one two did like 40 damage or something. But it does like 20 damage or some shit now. L left to right is like strong to weak. Like at least Gigas has stuff like them back too. And he still has like a better chat range. And he has a better Dampert 1. Uh, it's harder to step Gigas than it is to step Bears. Yeah, but 101 is risky. But yeah, they have them back too, but it's not like a whole lot of damage. I think Gigas is very low, it's like his Den 3 is good. Den 2 is good. Oh my god, it's Kobe. Kobe, don't look. Stealing your idea. I made a tier list last year, you stole my idea. Are you doing a video as well? Doing Eddie over Lars? Mm, well, I mean, you know better than I do about Lars. I literally made a video tier list last year, you're stealing my idea, thank you. What push is Lily into bombs over her? Her temperate one is super bad. For Dumpert 1, actually, like, like a lot of the players then play the character, but the one thing I'll give them is her Dumpert 1 is actually shit. Yo, Duncan, yo, thanks for full. Because even if you hit them with Dumpert 1, they can still back off the second Dumpert 1, which is pretty poor. And I don't think her lows are enough rewards. Like, Rooted Thief was good, but stuff like Den 3 is so risky for, like, what it does in hit. And she doesn't have like a goo counter tools. Like Kaz over Dota. I think just Kaz is just more explosive in terms of damage. And I think his Vortex is stronger because he has the Mishima 443. That double just not have, you know, the safe mid launcher. So I think Kazia can Vortex and be more explosive than Double Chin. Because Double Chin lost his Oki off 44. Or he lost the free hit off off of four, so he doesn't have like a mid vortex option, as far as I know. Like Lily's stand three is good because of the tracking and the range, but it is still slow and plus one on hit only, and she doesn't have good tracking in the first place. So that's my reasoning behind Lily, like. She can still win, like, like Lily players are not losing because they're picking Lily, for sure. Alright, please. You know how she's, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, thank you. Why is Yoshi bomb fire? Because his damage with that Oki kind of sucks. His basics are... It basically kind of suck. I think the only thing Yoshi has gone from is Flash. The 
is it eight frame? I think six frame. One stands eight frame. Another, like that's 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 the best thing for him. No, not not. I don't. I, I meant that he needs Oki to make up for the damage that he's missing that other other characters can do normally. I mean, like his Oki is good, but he actually needs to land it to like have his damage comparable to what the other characters can do. So I think the best thing for him is the flash intro. I think... Like his meter build is really slow, but he still like, he still kills you off. He still kills you with like one whip punish, with standing two, four, one. So maybe like the top... Like, like 11, 12 range. Kobe shot, man, you're stealing my idea. But yeah, what do you guys think of Geese? Like, he still has really good recovery on his jabs and his comfort one. And he still kills you off, like, 2 4 one with one bar. I'm gonna mute my Twitter. No, I'm gonna fight everyone on Twitter. I'm gonna fight all the damn players. I'm gonna tell them they're stupid. See, I, I, I think Steve fell off a bit. That's what I think. But the dump for two now. So I think Steve fell off a bit. So I, I think I'm gonna replace Steve with Geese. Because I, I, I have three characters in mind for the remaining top five. I, ha I have three characters in mind for the top five. And like two more for top ten, so that's gonna be like messy. Yeah, I, I think Geese here and Steve here. Okay, let's just throw the top five up now, okay? Bakuman, Leroy, Julia. That's the top five. Okay, let's just get that out of the way. Let's just before people say this character is in the top five, let's just get these. Let's just get these out of the way. And Safina was gonna be like number six or seven. Or people don't think Julia's top five. Do people not think she's top five? Yeah, Julia's neutral game is super oppressive. Elbow just denies you you're neutral, and she's explosive. She is a, the best combos in the game, I think. And her wall damage is some of the best as well. Her Oki is some of the best. I think the only thing that she kind of lacks is like a fast plus some hit low. She's shit punishment, how impressive she is. But her punishment is also good. <laughs> but her punishment is also very strong. Even if you can do 4 for 3 at 14 frame, her punishment is still good. Because the, the, the buff to her 2 back 1 plus 2 for 12 frame, she actually gets a much better situation when your back turns. If you do anything, she can do shotgun. If you're holding, I think if you're holding them back, she can hit you with shotgun. If you press a button, she can hit you with shotgun. So you have to turn around for to back to block shotgun. But then she can just low you up or throw you, for example. So uh, Julia is easy top five, but Safina would be like the next character after Julia, like literally. But I think Kazia might be bounced then in that case. I think Farkman actually. Paul would be number four. So I think Akuma, Fakuma, Leroy, Paul, Julia. I think that's the top five. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, in, in this order as well. Nice Pikachu, thank you. And thanks for the follow skies as well. Anna, it will get to her, get to her. No, like, Akuma can kill you off a jab, he can kill you off a very hard to whip punish 12 frame mid, he can kill you off a jab, dick jab, hit confirm. So, as long as he can do those things, he's always gonna be, as long as he can jump over your Musa, like your lows, even some of your highs and mids, as long as he can jump over this and kill you off it, he is never gonna be not the best character in the game. Make the top 10, top 15, but then it's just gonna be the same thing, except these characters gonna be up. Like it's in order, like this this is like roughly in order. We'll we'll shuffle around at the end a little bit. Yeah, Akuma's goal is gonna be the best character in the game, as long as he has these things. And then Fockman just Fockman from number two. Leroy's uh up close game is just suffocating as fuck. On top of like 12 frame McHendrick launcher, really good chat string, and stuff like that. So I think this top five in order is perfect. And then the top ten, I might bump Denjin. But see, I have Marduk and Gangryu in top 20. But I think Noctis is bomb ten. Because um, there's too many people on top 20. I mean, that's. Oh shit, right, yeah. <laughs> But not everyone's gonna be happy, right? Not everyone's gonna be happy with the tier list. We need to bump down two characters. Final press of Miko. I mean, I fight Sefi a lot, and I still think he's like kind of mad. Okay, let's say Elias is like top of everyone else. And Shaheen is like also at the top of everyone else. Well, like Miguel has to do stuff like Savage 2 to make to respect you from just uh, moving around a Savage mix up, like the sidestep duck option select on Savage. Like he has to commit to doing that. Well, not it is safe, but he loses his turn. So I don't think his pressure is that big. Or well, it's it's all right, but a lot of these characters do a lot of things better. And then Lei. Okay, I think Lei is like the bottom of everyone else. Or maybe a. Uh... I think that's better, isn't it? Let me play another ad, I'm sorry for the ad. By the way, does someone want to make me a thumbnail? <laughs> yeah, I think like Lei is a lot of fake stuff. Like he's such a huge matchup knowledge check, but he does have a lot of fake stuff. Yo, Danny, I got I got ass. Okay, I got ask. Did I just run an ad? Maybe. Right, I, I never get these numbers. Okay, let let me let me let me make a few bucks off this. Danny, you know you know it's a bit. You know it's a bit. Do you think I'm doing this because I have genuine curiosity about the balance in season three? Absolutely not. Like I was off front with that starter team. I'm only doing this for YouTube. Do you think I gave a shit about the balance of the game? No. <laughs> I don't give a shit about this. I just want something for YouTube.
Uh, anyway. Check the rocket. Okay. Real quick. I'm gonna read that after the stream, I think. I, I think that's something I need to read after the stream. Uh, yeah, lay down here. Anna. Uh, see, Anna's like weird because she's so coin flip heavy. So she can. She kind of like kills you or you kill her because her, her, her damage is unfair, I think. Of just a simple FC dump for two or while standing two, which is not that hard to enforce. So I think she can be like really unfair and going flippy. But at the same time, her core med her core fundamentals is weak. Her tracking, her punishment, her well her approach is okay, but the elbow on four four three. But like, it, 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 like she she could just murder you. That's the problem. She's, I think I don't. She's one of those characters that's, that just can't be consistently placed. So I might just make a separate tier for her. Just call her Anna tier and just put her in the middle. She she kills you or she doesn't, like straight up. It's like a shitty Anna can beat you in a short set. Just simply through forcing random 50-50s. Like, I think Anna's like one of the biggest carry characters in like the first two. So I don't know where to place her really. Because once you get once you know the other Anna player's habits, it's easy to beat them. But you need like information like that. You need information for that. But in the first two, if you don't have a grip on their pardons. She can just rob you blind because of her carry, her damage, her rage drive, burst damage. Like they like they keep buffing her damage and her mix-ups, but they're not addressing her fundamental issues. I'm sorry, but I, I I play the character as well. Like she's, I think she's actually my most played character on PC right now. So I, I play the character a lot. I've made a lot of content for her. So I like, I've a, I've used her in the Tekken World Tour Finals. Like I have a good idea on the character, I think, and that's exactly why I picked her to try and because I, these, I knew that these guys were way better than me. Like they're world class players, they're way better than I am. So I thought maybe I could just rob them with Anna, and it almost worked as well. It, it, it actually, against Chanel, I dropped things that would have won me a match. Against Saints, I did win a match. And then I just guessed wrong myself in the next match. But if I just chose the other option, I could have won. That's the nature of the character. So it's not like that Anna cost me the game. It's just that I guessed wrong myself on my own mix-up. So she can rob you blind. So I'm gonna say she's like here. But this would have been season one. No, no, sorry, no, she wasn't even season one. She was season two, yeah, yeah. But they keep buffing her low, and I don't know why. I mean, that's literally my reason. Like, I love the character a lot, but that was my reasoning in picking her in the finals, just to rob people flying to her. Um, Marduk. Mm, I, I, I think Marduk's top 20 because he's so explosive. And his lows are good. His... His strings are really good. His, his dumper 3 strings are like really obnoxious. But I don't know who to bump down from Marduk. That's the problem. And Gangryu is definitely top 20 as well. Because Marta can kill you in like a single touch. And his Denfort one does so much. Because his Denfort one is almost homing. It's only mana's 13. Really short block stun, so it's hard to punish optimally anyway. It has dumb range, he has dumb Oki. 
and his rage rage um, drive means he can kill. He's never he's never at a life deficit. It's left or right, yeah. Mm. I'm gonna put Shay up a little bit more. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put Mm, this is hard. I'm gonna cl put Claudio at the top of everyone else and a Murdoch like here. Well, yeah, I mean, there's our one like. And then Army King's kind of wank, I think. He'd be like here, I think. His tracking is so bad. His damage is really good, but his tracking is a huge problem up close. You can slice that right block so much of his shit. And it's really hard for him to stop it. Actually, no, no. Panda's better than Kuma. Panda's better than Waifu. Yeah, I think Armor King's like kind of really mad. I think not this. Uh... See, I'd... I'm like on the fence about Bomb Town Lully. Negan is just everyone else to be honest, but he, 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 I think he's decent, maybe he's like here. Uh, that Raven went all the way from top 20 to here. And then Gang Ryu, I think it's for sure top 20. Yeah, I think Asuka will be at the bottom of top 20. And the rage are better than Kuma. Okay, there well, you go. Mm. I'm a Sherba Shaheen. I think so. Leo. I don't think Leo's tracking is that good. Like, size that right duck, and it's pretty good against her. It avoids the mids. The voids, the it blocks the house sweep. Right, let me give a five. top five for sure. The top. Eight for sure. Mm, Shaheen, maybe Shaheen here. Horang a bit higher. Double Jen. I mean, he's definitely top 15. Like, he still has the Mishima style. Like, really good electric, really good health sweep, really good mids. I think it looks alright. I think it looks alright. Like, if you're arguing for switching one to... Oh wait, is there too many top 20s? There's actually two characters <laughs> in top 22. Like if you're arguing like one or two place differences then it's not really worth arguing about, is it? Oh, there's one character in top. Uh, is there rank we sentences for? No one knows. I don't know any more than anyone knows. Why is Gangri the high? Because he is really good keep out with the clap 4 4 plus 2 clap. He has bullshit mids like them for 2, back 2, 1. He has really good lows, down for 3, down 
four. His two one is super toxic. His stance pressure is super toxic. It's two one is still a mix up and block because you're afraid of the natural counter at launcher at the end, which is only minus eleven for some reason. Brian at the top. I think that's okay, isn't it? Like, roughly, like, give or take one or two places. Yeah, I, I think I'm happy with this, looking at it over and over again. Six people, yeah, I mean, bears are the one, like, bears are one. Again, if it's like one or two placements, it's not really worth arguing, I think. If, it, if the rough placement is fine. Anyway, yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm gonna cut the stream now. Yeah, I'm gonna post that. I'm gonna argue if them if people are gonna then play the character, be like, uh, well, well, and be like, okay, that's literally I'm just gonna send it. Okay. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye, 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 bye. Make sure you click on YouTube. Give me them views. All right. Bye, bye. Thank you. Now I need to figure out how to download the two Twitch clips, the, the two Twitch files and then put them together because fucking internet caught on me. Okay, bye bye, bye bye. Wait, who am I hosting shit? I need to plan the host first. I think Muriel has enough to go on. this girl anyway bye 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 oh yeah let me know what you think in the comments as well thank you then go all right bye everyone bye 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 bye